Bokatar, good morning. Shalom, shalom, Ms. Kapaz. Welcome. Again, I'm Netanyahu, and this is my morning message. You don't have to agree with my morning message, but this is my morning message. I give praise to the Father, Yahuwah, the mighty one of Abraham, the mighty one of Isaac, and the mighty one of Yahuwah. Today, I would like to share the wicked seek not after Yahuwah's prophets. Why doesn't the wicked seek after Yahuwah's prophets? Because they know that their behavior is out of pocket with the Father according to his written instructions. So therefore, when they see the prophet of Yahuwah, they know that they are in danger of judgment. Why? Again, because they do the things not that Yahuwah say to do. They do not the things that are written according to the holy tablets of Yahuwah, the scriptures. And so therefore, they don't seek the righteous prophets of Yahuwah. But let's get a little bit of understanding, family. Hey, go get your Bibles. <laughs> go get your scriptures and follow along with me. Hallelujah. So, hey, let's start this off in Yirmiyah chapter 7, verse 25, right? Here's the problem with our people who decide that they're not going to serve the Creator, Yahuwah, but do their own will. They're going to run to the high places. They're going to make churches. They're going to make places of worship and they're not going to bring in the wisdom of Yahuwah. They're not going to bring in the law of Yahuwah. They're going to keep the traditions of their fathers. And their father's traditions are polluted, family. But hey, Yirmiyah chapter 7, right? Verse 25, and it reads, Since the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt until this very day, I have even sent to you all my servants, the prophets daily rising up early and sending in. Hey, the prophets were coming to nourish the people, to give them the right way of your whore to monitor them, to make sure that if they need anything, the will of Yahuwah will be there to present whatever they need in healing, in truth, in righteousness, etc., family. So to have a righteous prophet, a righteous prophet of Yahuwah was a good thing. But the wicked, when they decide that they want to do their wickedness and don't want no one to check them for their behavior, they're not calling on the, the righteousness of the prophets of Yahuwah. And when they did show up, they tried to kill most of them anyway. But this is what Yahuwah says, verse 26. Yet they would not obey me, meaning you wicked people who don't seek at the mouth of Yahuwah, nor listen to his prophets, right? He says, yet they would not obey me, nor pay any attention. Instead, they became stubborn and they did worse than their fathers. Check yourself. Do you do more abominations than your father, which taught you his garbage? Or are you a righteous person seeking the prophet of Yahuwah? Or are you a wicked person and you refuse to hear the voice of Yahuwah, even through his prophets, family? Check it out. Therefore, you will speak all these words to them, but they will not obey you. You will also call them but they will not answer you. So you will say to them, this is a nation that does not obey the voice of Yahuwah, their father, nor accept correction. Truth has perished and gone from their mouth. You will not accept correction. You will not repent because you think you say sanctified already and filled with the Holy Ghost as you say. You say that the way you've been living is righteous enough for you to die in your sins, unfortunately. How do we know you are going to die in your sins if you don't repent? Hey, verse 30 says, For the children of Yahuwah have done evil in my sight, says Yahuwah. Their heart set, they have set their, their abominations, detestable gods, Elohims, in the house which is called with my name to pollute it. So when you had the name of Yahuwah, when you were obedient to the instructions of Yahuwah, you decided to go back door and start bringing in demonology into the house of Yahuwah. Therefore, these things are detestable, your gods, your idols, etc., family. But we're not, we're not a careful people anymore. We are, we are a buck wild, reckless people. 
But will we seek the righteousness of the prophets of Yahuwah to turn back to Yahuwah? By no means, for the most part. But there is a remnant that will turn back to the mighty Father. But hey, we got to seek Yahuwah. And we got to seek Yahuwah diligently, family. Let's go to Yemiah 25th chapter, right? Yemiah 25th. Because, hey, here is <laughs> here's a king that had an issue with with the righteous prophets of Yahuwah, basically, right? And we want to make sure that we understand that we can't keep these practices even today. Hey, the bottom line is this. We're supposed to be able to serve these ancient customs that Yahuwah laid out in a modern time, which is today. We can do it, fam. We got to choose to do it, right? Stop saying the law is done away with. Stop saying the commandments are done away with. That's your own willful disrespect to Yahuwah, to Yahuwah's house, and to the spoken word of Yahuwah family. But hey, Yemi Yah 25 verse 3 says, From the from the thirteenth year of Yoshiah, son of Amon, king of Yahudah, even to this day, for twenty-three years, the word of Yahuwah has came to me, and I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking, but you have not listened. You can read this in your Bible, your scriptures right now, like I'm doing, and it will go over your head because you're not looking to serve Yahuwah. And secondly, they have they have put misrepresentations of certain words in your, your scriptures to throw you off. But you got to find the right track. You got to find the straight and narrow family. So Yahuwah said, hey, man, for, for what? How long did he say here? <coughs> he said, uh, for from the third from the thirty the thirteenth year of Yoshia, of uh, son of Amon, king of Yahuda, even to this day, for twenty three years. Twenty three years. How long have you been living in sin, Yashara? How long? Right? Twenty three years the word of Yahuwah has come to me. Then I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking. But you have not listened. And Yahuwah has sent, and Yahuwah has sent to you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sitting there. But you have not listened nor inclined your ear to the prophets, to the righteous prophet. Why not? Because the wicked do not seek the righteous prophets of Yahuwah family. That's just what you don't do. He says, they said, Turn again now, everyone, from his evil way. Repent, is what he's saying, from your evil ways and from the evil of your doing and dwell in the land that you, Yahuwah has given to you and to your fathers forever and ever. Obviously, you didn't keep the charge. Therefore, you're living in somebody else's land, right? Being oppressed. Why? Because this is what he said. This is the main reason why he said don't do these things, right? He says, uh, do not follow after hinder gods, Elohims, to serve them and to worship them. Do not provoke me to anger with the works of your own hand. You decide to do this stuff, right? To and do not provoke me uh, with your own. I'm sorry. He says, do not follow after hinder gods, Elohims, to serve them and to worship them. Do not provoke me to anger with the works of your own hands. Worthless gods, Elohim, teraphims, then I will not harm you. If you come out of God worship, if you come out of idolatry, if you come out of wickedness, Yahuwah will allow you to repent and that you may be able to have a good shot toward the kingdom family. But when the prophets came and they spoke this, people plugged their ears, closed their eyes, and they kicked the prophets out. And they did not want to hear the righteous prophets of Yahuwah family, unfortunately, right? So he says, yet you have not listened to me, says Yahuwah, and you have provoked me to anger with the works of your hands, and you have brought harm upon yourself. So when you judge into the lake of fire, you did it to yourself, fam, right? He says, therefore, this is what Yahuwah of hosts says, because you have not listened to my words, the law and the prophets, family. Hey, it's important. No one's trying to convert you, but you need to read and understand your scriptures. Yashara, you need to wake up and you need to come out of all these doctrines of God worship. 
Because if not, the Father has a terrible punishment for you, and it is called the lake of fire, right? So again, when the prophets of Yahuwah showed up, people, people freaked out. Why did they freak out? Because they knew that there was most likely going to be a judgment coming, right? Let's go to 1 Shem Yahoo 16. I got one more after this. 1 Shem Yahoo 16. Because Yahuwah, after he rejected Shaul for being king, for he turned away from Yahuwah, then Yahuwah said, I found another king after my own heart, which was King Daud, right? And then he said, go and anoint him. And Shem Yahuwah was like, if I go, Shaul find out he's going to try to kill me. He said, hey, look, don't worry about that, dude. Go and, and take a bull and go offer a sacrifice, and I will show you who I need for you to anoint in the house of Yeshia, right? So, first Shem Yahoo, right? Here's a prophet coming to the people. When they see the prophet come, man, they're like, ooh, what's, what's going on? Are you coming? Are you coming in peace, <laughs> right? So he says that, then Yahuwah said to Shem Yahu, How long will you mourn for Shaul, seeing that I have rejected him for being king over Yasharah? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Yeshia of Bethlehem, because I have chosen for myself a king from among his sons. Right? But Shem Yahu said, How can I go? If Shaul hear of, hear of it, he would kill me, Yahuwah. Then Yahuwah said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to Yahuwah. Then invite Yeshia to the sacrifice, and I will show you who I will show you what you must you are to do, and you are to anoint for me the one I name you. So Shem Yahu was obedient to Yahuwah's voice. Right? So Shem Yahu did what Yahuwah said and went to Bethlehem. Now check it out, fam. The elders of the city, they trembled when they met him and said, do you come in shalom? Is there a judgment against us? What did we do wrong? Did we do anything wrong? He said, hey, he says, <laughs> and he said, I come in shalom, basically. And he said, shalom, I come to sacrifice to Yahuwah, sanctify and consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then he sacrificed and consecrated Yeshua and his sons. And he invited him to the sacrifice. And basically, this is where Dao became anointed as king. One more place, family, because we have to be mindful of how we deal with Yahuwah's instructions. You got to be on point with these instructions of Yahuwah, right? So, hey, 1 Kings 14, right? <clears throat> and again, we're talking about the wicked not seeking the righteous prophets of Yahuwah for information and instructions nor do they keep the law of Yahuwah, right? So, hey, he says, At this time, Abiah, Yahuwah is my father, son of Yeroboam, became sick, right? So, Yeroboam was the one that Yahuwah gave the ten tribes to. And this dude went back though real fast. He he turned the people upside down and against Yahuwah by the way he felt he should be able to worship what he wanted to worship, right? So, Yahuwah cast a judgment against his house, right? So, so you're born instructing his wife, saying, rise up and disguise yourself. Hey, go go act like you somebody else, right? Like the prophet ain't going to be able to know, right? He said, disguise yourself so that so they may not recognize you as the wife for your born and go to Shiloh. Well, first of all, we don't want nobody seeing all our wicked Friends, see you go to the righteous prophet of Yahuwah for some instructions and some information, right? So, hey, so he said, go disguise yourself. See, don't nobody want to roll up on the righteous prophets of Yahuwah in plain sight because they know they, they got some wickedness about themselves. So they don't want the other people who are going to judge them. Hey, man, we over here doing this thing. Why are you trying to go over there and do the right thing, man? You've been over here all this time, right? Hey, man, get out of that garbage, right? But he says... Go to Shiloh, truly Ahia, my redeemer is Yahuwah. That's what his name means. The prophet is there who told me I would be king over the, this people. To take with you ten loaves and some cakes, some, ten loaves, some cakes, and a jar of honey, and go to him, and he would tell you what would become of the boy that Yahuwah struck sick because of the judgment 
of the house of Jeroboam family. So Jeroboam's wife did as he said. She got up and went to Shiloh and came to the house of Ahiah. And now Ahiah could not see, for his eyes were glazed because of his age. But Yahuwah said to Ahiah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam is coming to request a word from you about her son. Is that how, how the wicked say, is that a word from the Lord today? <laughs> right? So, hey, go get your word from Yahuwah and straighten yourself up. Right? But because he is sick, you are giving her such and such an answer. You are to give her such and such an answer. But when she arrives, she will pretend to be somebody else. Why? Because she's wicked. Why? Because her husband's wicked. Why? Because they worship with wicked people. Why? Because they don't want to worship Yahuwah. That's why. So the wicked don't seek the prophets of Yahuwah, the righteous prophets, right? Verse 6. So when Ahia heard the sound of her footsteps as she stepped through the door, he said, Come in, wife of Jeroboam. Why do you make pretense to be another? Why are you sitting here lying to be disguising, stealing somebody's identity probably, and not be yourself? With Yahuwah, be yourself, fam. All right? So he says, uh, and I am sending you bad news. Because you're coming here to get some, hopefully some good news, but you're going to get some bad news, right? Go and tell your boy, this is what Yahuwah, right? This is what Yahuwah, the father of Yahshua says, I will raise up from among the people and make you ruler over my people, Yahshua. He said, I did this for you, right? And tore the kingdom away from the house of Dawu, whom we know that Shem Yahu anointed, right? But because of Solomon's sin, the kingdom got ripped into two. And your boy got, got ten tribes, right? He says, but you have not been as my servant Dawu, who kept my commandments and who followed me with all his heart, mind, and understanding to do that which is right in my sight. And you have done more evil than all who were before you because you have gone and made yourself hinder God's Elohim's and molten images and provoked me to anger and have thrown me behind, and have thrown me behind your back. You turn your back to me because you want to worship the hinder gods, the Elohim's, the teraphims, right? But hey, check it out. He says, because of this, behold, I will bring disaster upon the house of your bomb. I will cut off your bomb line. Every last male in Yashara'a, slave and free, I will destroy the remnant of the house of your bomb, just as I destroy the garbage, uh, the garbage until it is all gone, basically. Right? So he says, basically, everyone that pisses against the wall, he going to cut them off, basically, fam. Simple as that. Why? Because they turned their back to Yahuwah. They will not worship Yahuwah. They will not keep the law of Yahuwah. They will not judge righteously in the law of Yahuwah. So therefore, Yahuwah will set judgment against you and your house as long as it takes to clean out your garbage. And if your garbage has to go to the incinerator, the lake of fire, then so be it, may it be so. Because you have the opportunity to repent while you have the breath of life in your nostrils and you have the seat of your intelligence to work it all out. Last, last verse, fam. Verse 12 says, Now, rise up, return to your own house, and when your feet enter into the city, your son shall die. So, hey, it's important that we all come out of our wickedness and seek our father, Yahuwah, and be patient for his salvation. Because if not, then the garbage that he's going to clean out, all the males that are going to piss against the wall shall die, and you shall go into the incinerator, known as the lake of fire for your wicked behavior because you don't love Yahuwah, you don't obey Yahuwah, you don't call on Yahuwah's name, and therefore you have served the abominations with your own hands, basically. So, hey, family, thank you for your time, for allowing me to share my information with you. As always, I'm not here to convert nobody, but I'm here to share my information. This is my information, and I hope that my information will help you become better students of scriptures. With that, I love you all. Thank you for your time. In Yahushua's name, shalom, 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 fam.